Hey Aquarius, what's up Aqua? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Aquarius out there. So please do only take what resonates and never force it to fit your situation. Send you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. XO, XO. All right, Aquarius. So let's hop in. We're starting out with some self-care messages, and then we will hop into the love portion of your reading. Alrighty. So let's see what's going on, Aquarius. What do I need to focus on? Let's see, Aquarius. All right. So some of you guys are needing to find a mentor, somebody that can help and guide you guys. Um, it says find a mentor in your field who can help you reach your goals faster. This can also be um, like a spiritual coach or somebody that you just look up to. Somebody that you may feel like is like a big brother, big sister, or somebody that you feel like is helping and guiding you in your life in some type of way. Alrighty. We have get a massage. So, yes, that would be great. That would be a good Mother's Day gift because y'all know Mother's Day is coming up. So, it says you deserve to be pampered. Make, make your appointment this week. All right. So, I told you our group on be having all... The deals, all right. So definitely check it out. And we have music. So music can heal wounds that medicine cannot touch. So for some of you guys, music touches your soul, okay. But um, it would have to be something that like definitely like hits you, like that gets to you, um, like something like when you like listen to it, it's like you want it to be quiet, like you don't want anybody to interrupt, sing the lyrics, like. It has to be like a good song, like something that like it's just like your soul is even in touch with it, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of what my mom's song was, and I feel bad. I don't even know it right now. Like I know it, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't get it out. Um. Oh my goodness, I feel bad, y'all. Um, oh, here it goes right here. As soon as I typed it up, it came up. Um, Open My Heart by Yolanda Adams. So, like, every time my mom listened to that song... Oh my goodness, like she would like sometimes for a river, like it would touch her. Like she could be like in a good mood, like we could be having a good day doing stuff. And it's like if that song like came on the radio back then, or like if she, like you know, back then we used to have like the C D players. And so like if she would like you know how they used to like make the mix CDs. I remember on one of her CDs she had like Erica Badu, like Angie Stone, Jill Scott, and then she had like that song like towards the end, and if it was playing on the mix CD. Oh my goodness, like sometimes she would like pull over and stop because it would just like touch her like every time. Like it would hit her every time. Like every time she listened to it, it touched her soul. So like when I see this a music card, I'm gonna use my mom as, as an example because that was I was little and I didn't understand it like I do now. And I used to always be like, Well, why does mom cry when she hears a song if she likes it so much? But now that I'm older, I understand. So with the music card, it's not gonna be like you listening to little baby future or something like that. Now for some of you guys, maybe. You know, if you can really relate or maybe it does touch your soul. But this will be like a song that like, it's like a song that is always going to be your favorite. Something that's always going to touch your heart, your soul, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So, and it can heal you in a lot of ways. Okay. I'm at the bottom. We have a heart chakra. So your heart chakra is out of balance. So some of you guys are needing to heal the heart chakra. Okay. Um, or just, you know, have your um, heart chakra open to receiving. Okay. You could be blocking some, um. You know some love and some blessings and stuff like that with the heart chakra so make sure your heart chakra is open to receiving all right Aquarius. so let's hop in let's look into the um your love life okay let's see spirit universe and my ancestors please give me messages uh oh for Aquarius. what do i need to know in here when it comes to love life all right let's see aquarius All right, Aquarius, let's see. Oh, again, I got some jumpers. Let's see. So, page of wands in reverse, three of wands in reverse. This may be you disappointed or frustrated with the outcome of something. All right? Like, maybe you thought, like, moving forward or going, it's like, you know, whoever. Okay. So, this can be, since it's a, we're talking about love, you may have chose to move forward with somebody 
and now you're kind of like frustrated and annoyed you know by the situation you're just like why did i do that okay this can also be somebody coming back towards you wanting to come back towards you but i don't know about with that page of wands or you i don't know if you want to see this person i'll be around them for you but let's see let's look into the recent past for aquarius all right so it wasn't an upright but it came up from reverse so we're going to take it in reverse all right we um have gemini energy okay go take let's go get your medicine but that's not going to change the situation i'm just telling you that right now i'm sorry y'all the boys um interrupted me all right so the present energy is the knight of pentacles in reverse their current their current feelings towards you is the four of pentacles let's look at their intentions mm -mm, the devil mm. what they want from you ace of wands i think i got this in aries reading too like but it was like reverse like somebody wanted to have sex with you but it, it's like they end up wanting more but hmm let's see potential outcome is the queen of pentacles over our energy we have the ten of wands reverse so maybe you're just fed up and over the situation like you're just like mm -hmm, i'm fed up i'm done i said no so you may be fed up when it comes to the situation just over it you're no longer letting this stress you out anymore or bother you anymore if that's in the wands reverse you're saying no you're setting your boundaries no it's a complete sentence there can also be a virgo around you guys a capricorn all right so we have capricorn gemini virgo all right it could be any sign though but let's see messages for aquarius all right let's see messages for aquarius let's see how the lovers is reversed so there could have been a separation or a breakup here all right or um just some type of like disconnect like you know you kind of feel back lost interest in this person why is the lovers in reverse um the recent past for aquarius let's see the devil in reverse so yeah you freed yourself from this person could be a capricorn mm -hmm. maybe this person just has some ways about them maybe you thought they were like just toxic as fuck or you thought it was something about them and you just this is you like freeing yourself letting go releasing yourself ending the relationship maybe it was just like i said toxic or you just felt like you didn't want to be in that cycle anymore with this person. So you like detaching it, go, let this go. The strength card here it could be a Leo, but the strength card is like, it took a lot in you to do this, you know, but you felt like this was something that you needed to do. You needed to be strong and, you know, remain strong in your decision. So you feel like that was the best thing to do. I feel like you didn't want to, but you feel like it was the best thing to do. So let's see how the strength card is here. The devil reverse the lovers, all this major can the sun. So some of you guys are like a lot more happier. Or you guys definitely became, you know, like happier after something ended. It's like your energy instantly shifted with the sun here. You definitely shine a light on a lot of things. Or it's like you're in a happy place or space. You gain some clarity. Okay, it's like things are changing in your life. You're feeling a lot better since you freed yourself from this person. So it looks like for a lot of you guys, like you feel like this was definitely, you know, something that needed to be done. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords here, Queen of Cups. It looks like you guys are really focusing on you. This is a lot of self-love and care, going towards common waters, healing, moving on, moving forward. Okay? So with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, if this is in the present energy, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is not loyal. They're playing the field. This is somebody that's not coming in with any type of solid offer. They're lazy. Their money could be funny. They don't really have a lot to give or they're not bringing anything to the relationship or the situation. So let's see how this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Dang, man so that's why you're leaving them where they're at so it's like there's still some type of stagnant energy between you and somebody and because the situation has not changed it's like you're not doing anything about it like it's kind of like you made up your mind you're not moving forward you're not saying anything you see it see it from your perspective and you just feel like they're not going to see it from yours or you feel like they don't see it from your perspective but you're not doing much like you're not i don't see you taking any action or allowing them to come closer to you or allowing them in yeah, we have the Hermit in reverse, more Virgo energy, so strong Virgo for some of you guys. And we have with the Queen of Wands, so you feel like you're in your power, like you feel powerful. You feel like, um, you just feel like better about yourself, like you feel more confident, okay? Um, some of you guys have overcome, like, some type of insecurities, or maybe this situation that brought you down, which is why you had to, you know, release and let this go, or surrender to this person and let go, but, or to the situation, but yeah like the queen of wands you're feeling good some of you guys have changed your hair color like dyed your hair maybe cut your hair into a bob um 
and it's like you're watering your plants so like it's like you're the plant it's like you're watering yourself is what i meant to say like you know you're definitely like invested in you and your growth and your glow up and all that type of stuff like you're really 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 focused on you you want something new for some of you guys like that hermit and reverse and the queen of wands so definitely trying to go towards something new yeah three of wands and moving forward yeah ships are coming in you're moving forward you're putting energy into the things that you know are gonna like move forward or things that you want to move forward. Like you want to like so say if it's like um I don't know, say if you wanted to like move, like you're putting your energy into that. Or with work, you're putting your energy into that. So you're putting your energy into things like I said that you know are gonna move forward or help you grow in some type of way. Okay. So this looks really good, Aquarius. You guys are doing a lot of work. Love it. Let's see why the four of pentacles is here. This is um, their current feelings towards you. So they may feel like you're being stubborn. They may feel like you're being uptight, like, you know, um, holding back, not saying much or anything. Because we have the Four of Pentacles here. One to the Four of Pentacles. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Swords can be somebody that is, like, silent. Um... But it can also be somebody that overthinks things. So let's see where this is going. They have a lot of different meanings. But this is somebody that is like silent. They're not saying anything. Because they also feel like they're being stubborn. Like you're not saying much. You're holding back information. You're holding back communication here. And then I hear they feel like you're just being silent. Like you're not saying anything. They're like, they want you to break the silence. Two of pentacles. They also may feel like at times you reach out to them. And make like a hi or something like that. Or if this person reaches out to you, you may respond back to them. But that's it. It's like you kind of keep it short. You don't really, you know, text a lot or say much. So they may feel like you're like kind of back and forth. Like one minute, it seems like you're like giving in or saying something in the next minute you're not. All right. So they can just see you as like somebody that is like, maybe you're changing your mind. They may feel like you're overthinking things too. Um, but let's see why the two of pentacles here. The will of fortune. Oh yeah. But they also see you as like really moving on and like, look, king of swords, like, so they see like you're not playing, like your cutoff game is strong. And they see that, like they they see that you're not giving in, like you're not budging, all right? So you're not giving in to this shit, Aquarius, side. So it's like they see you happy and it's not with them, you know? They can be jealous of your happiness too. Um, I wouldn't say jealous, but it's kind of like with the devil, kind of like, I wouldn't say, we'll see. They can probably try to like come in between that, like, you know, because you're um, not giving in to them. So they're like, no, fuck that is about to be happy and move forward. And I'm going to sit over here, you know, but hey, we'll see. Let's put some messages for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Aquarius. Oh, dang. So, yeah, look, working on myself. So, you guys are definitely doing some work on yourself. You're working on yourself. Hey. So, we have intuitive masculine. So, this can go either way. This can be you or your person because, remember, um, air energy is masculine energy. And you are Aquarius, so that is masculine energy. So, it can be you are your person. But um, because, you're mas because you have masculine energy, um, I feel like it's you. Oh, wow, look, the breakup glow up. Look, I told you guys. You guys broke up, and now your glow up is like, yes, we have mirror messages. So you guys can be, like, writing messages to yourself in a mirror, you know, like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, I love myself, whatever. It can be anything, all right? Got them whipped. So maybe you guys got this person whipped, and that's how they can't let go. We have lost control coming back to you. So they feel like, um, I'm not saying they had control in the past, but I feel like in the past, if you guys would have got into it, you would have you would have took them back. And now they feel like they have no more control over the situation. Like you're just completely done. But look, it says that you guys are tempted as fuck, Aquarius. But look, you're going to leave them hanging. Mm -hmm. So some of y'all are like, mm, I missed that. But then you're like, uh-uh, can't do it. <laughs> okay, let's see why the devil is here. So this is in their intentions. Let's see. Uh-oh. Why is the devil here, Aquarius? Let's see. Mmm. I don't like this. The higher font with the devil.
Mm -mm -mm. This is some dark ass energy. They could be reading on certain stuff. You know, like ritual spells, stuff like that. Three of Cups. Oh, they know somebody. They know somebody that does this type of work or a friend or somebody is introducing them into... Like, they're going to introduce them to somebody that does um, spell work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is it the Eclipse here with the um, Devil in the Higher Fonts and their intentions? Look, the Death card, the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. They desperate, Aquarius. What is that mean? Mm -hmm. They are, they're desperate. And I feel like, um, this person is they're obsessed in some type of way and they feel like you're theirs and they don't want anybody else around you so even if you are talking to somebody they might be trying to like um put an ending to that but if not it's like they want a new beginning after like you ended something with them something is over look this person is heartbroken and torn mm -hmm. look i told you they're gonna go to somebody the high priestess was in reverse look I told you so this is somebody that is like dark like i said they know somebody. Um, they either... Let me see. Do they know this person or it's like their friend or something like that? They know somebody or their friend. Okay, so... Okay, I'm getting a couple different things. So for some of you guys, they know somebody. And they've known this person for a long time. And they, like, even witnessed or seen some shit work and happen, like, right in front of them. Like, they seen something happen. Like, you know, like, maybe, I don't know, somebody in their family or somebody went to something and, like, something happened, you know? So, they definitely believe in it. They probably don't tell you that. But, um, they know somebody. Now, for others of you, somebody told them this. And they were like, are you crazy? Like, that shit ain't, ain't gonna work. That's not going to work, but then it's like they, I feel like they did their research. The higher font has, like I said, all these books. Or they went online, they start searching, and they're trying to find somebody to do it. Or they are going to find somebody to do it. So I'm just seeing it both ways for you guys, okay? Let's get out of that energy. Um, let me see what they want from you. We got the Ace of Wands. So besides having sex with you or getting back with you sexually, um, this can be them wanting to rekindle things. Let's see how the Ace of Wands is here. The high priestess. Yeah, they secretly want to get back with you. But I feel like it's no secret. I feel like they... I feel like you know. Ace of Wands, yep. See, they're either going to a reader. They're going to somebody. They're they're doing something because they're trying to get into your energy. They're trying to figure out how you feel or they're trying to tap into your energy. Yeah, they're trying to... And they're paying for it. They're trying to figure out where your mind is at, what you want. This is somebody that is definitely trying to tap in. They're trying to tap into your energy. But like I said, over here, they know somebody or their friend is going to introduce them to somebody. Like they're going to a practitioner, you know? Hmm, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Why is this the potential outcome? Let's see. See, justice. They feel like you're theirs. They don't want anybody to be with you. Like, and so I feel like this person, like, they see you as a like the person they want to be with. Like they just like they they just want to be with you, Aquarius. So let me see. It's really stressing them out that it's not working out or that it hasn't come back together. They feel like they've tried everything, like they've been honest with you, you know, or they're willing to, but King of Pentacles or Universe. And they also know that you're tired of them or that you like kind of gave up on them. So Five of Cups, Judgment. 
they feel like you were being heartless. You left them in the cold. Like, you didn't care about their feelings. But I don't know what they did to you. So, it's definitely a... I don't... I mean, I didn't ask. But it's definitely... It's got to be a reason. You know? So... Look, everything is fine. I thought this person tries to come off as if everything is fine and it's not. See, because they look at you as their empress. Like, you're the person they want to be with, like I said. So, they're looking, they're spying. They act like everything is cool and it's not. Mm -mm. They may start with you guys at times or, like, try to do things to, like, get on like get on your nerves or make you mad. You know, just to get a reaction out of you. Um... They definitely pay attention to all your comments, whoever's, like, leaving messages, like, you know, comments on your social media and stuff, if you guys are on social media. Mm -hmm. They even know, like, where you guys work or, like, they're, like, they're just, like, really, really watching you guys, okay? Whoever this is, they are. Seven of Swords, they even got somebody else watching you. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> That's why this Ten of Wands in reverse. Dealing with all that, that's why I would be like, mm mm. They got somebody watching y'all. Ten of Wands in reverse. See, they don't, they don't want to give up on this. They see you did, but they don't want to give up. They don't want this. They don't want this to end. We have the Emperor here. You know, three of Pentacles. They feel like they can make this work. They feel like you're the person they're supposed to be with. Like you're over here, they're over here, and they're just like, okay, like you're the person I'm supposed to be with. Like I want this, but. I feel like all of this happened after the breakup, like after the ending. You know, like when you sometimes people just don't realize what they have until it's gone, and I feel like that's what happened. You have to see, we got the page of swords, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, five of wands. Yeah, they knew that something was up when you stopped entertaining and investing in them or giving into their bullshit. Okay, so I feel like in the past, like no matter what you were there, you had their back. I feel like in the past, they could like trigger you, get on your nerves, and do stuff. You know, you would react and respond. And I just feel like now it's like it's so different. So they can see that you really have their back, like you really have let go. Mm -hmm. So they, yeah, Aquarius, they are desperate to get you back. And this is like crazy. But it's like they are willing to do whatever. All right, so we have confused. Somebody feels like, um, well, they feel like they're confused. Like they're like, what did I do wrong? We have unsure. They feel like maybe you're unsure about things. We have sneaky link, countless suitors. So that's what happened. So they had a sneaky link. They were messing around with multiple women or men or people. Like they were just. Like, you know, I ain't gonna say holding around, but like, look, player. Mm hmm. For some of you guys, you could have caught an STD or thought you caught an STD. Okay, and we have karma, good or bad, karmic, karmic cycle, justice will be served. See, so look, I love you. And so, for some of you guys, their karma is like not getting back with you, not getting you back, but they're gonna try to go against that, you know, and try to get somebody to do some shit. They already got somebody watching you. Whatever they have somebody doing, it's not gonna be like, they're just trying to tap into your energy and see how you feel. Whoever they go to that's doing this, they're trying to do like, you know, like come like a comeback to me or something like that. Like I don't, they're not trying to like fuck up your life or like hex you or do anything like negative that's gonna fuck you up. Like you know, they're not trying to be like that. No, they're trying to get you to like change your mind about them. Um, let's see, give me one more message for Chris. But I feel like the way it goes, like, you know, that's still bad, though, right? So, yeah. So, we have baby mama, baby daddy trauma. So, it can be your baby mom or your baby dad, okay? So, yeah, this can be somebody that you have a child with. But if not, maybe that's why you left because there was baby mama, baby daddy drama. Maybe that's who they, you know, had in their DMs they were sneaking off with or be, like, that's who maybe they ran off with or, you know, was messing around with and you just didn't want to deal with it anymore. So, that can be it, too. All right. So, yes, of course, that is what I have for y'all. Aqua. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, and if you guys love to book, fire your intuition.com. Bye, Grace.